So my work in the energy transition falls into two broad categories. On the one hand, I work on reducing the carbon footprint of energy intensive systems, such as buildings and transportation. On the other hand, using nature-based solutions to draw down carbon from the atmosphere into things like trees. The first part is important because it is affecting the way that these energy intensive systems will be built in the future. For example, if all cars become electric, that has huge implications for the infrastructure for electricity delivery, and in fact, for job losses in the petroleum sector. The second part is just as important because it actually removes carbon dioxide from the air, but we have to do it at scale. And we're trying to use nature-based solutions as opposed to technology-intensive solutions because these exist, they are uh, in wide use already, and they've been around for a couple of billion years. These are trees. So what we're doing over here is to essentially see the role that avoided deforestation plays in both promoting biodiversity and in reducing the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, a two for one. And in doing that, what we need to do is to measure the amount of carbon dioxide taken up by tropical rainforests, either in the natural course of events or after a deforestation event. And we're doing that by observing them from space by looking at Earth observation from satellites and using artificial intelligence to gauge the amount of regrowth that's happening, what we can do is we can compute the number of carbon credits that should be given to these projects or in fact entire jurisdictions. When these carbon credits are sold on a marketplace to purchasers, these purchasers are funneling funds to projects that really can use the money and do a very good job of it and simultaneously increasing the amount of carbon dioxide that's being removed from the atmosphere and being put into biomass and also promoting biodiversity because these are natural forests. So this work is to me very exciting. It brings together researchers from across the university to solve a very important problem and we feel we're doing cutting edge research in a way that's not being done anywhere else in the world. So over the years, the role of the university, any university has changed from being a place primarily of instruction to one of research and in some sense, activism to cause societal change. What we're doing here is research, but it's research applied to solve a problem, not just for the UK, but for the world. And so our research we believe is helping to create a system which funnels funds from, from corporations, from rich people essentially, to people who can really use this to make a real change in the world. It cannot be done by any private party. It has to be done by a third party, a neutral party, and the university is the best possible locus for this research. That's why it's important for Cambridge, it's important for the world. The work we're doing on carbon credits is trying to create a system by which people can have trust in the credits and for the credits to scale. So what do we mean by that? Right now, if you're taking a flight and you buy carbon credits to offset your flight, you really have no idea what you're getting. In many cases, it's a scam. What we're trying to do is to bring trust into it by using technologies from computer science, such as distributed ledgers, AI, Earth observation, technologies from uh, plant sciences, which is trying to measure the amount of forest growth, and technologies from zoology to look at biodiversity measurements from space. So all of these together, when brought together, makes it possible to trust that the carbon offsets you're purchasing are bringing value for carbon offsets, uh, carbon reduction and an increasing biodiversity. So that's the trust part. And second, by using Earth observation from space, we're able to scale up to very large areas rather than sending people on the ground to measure trees with measuring tapes, which is what they do today. So the scale and trust together, if you can do it properly and we can convince people that we're doing things properly by using peer reviewed papers, by having partners who are credible and bring credibility to our processes, we think we can actually change the way that society views carbon credits and to open a, a flood of funding for projects in these uh, tropical rainforests which really need it.